It's the 2K Sports pregame show. So good to be with you again, everybody. The NBA season has now hit its stride. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith on 2K Sports. The action tonight will be happening out in Phoenix, where the Suns will be going up against the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, for the Pelicans, these guys are playing good basketball with seven wins in their last 10 games, and they like their chances tonight. And as we reach the midway point, Kenny, still a lot of games left on the schedule. How do players cope with the wear and tear their bodies go through? Well, a lot of times when you're mentally or physically tired, you know, you could sit there and all of a sudden you misquote things, you miss say things here on the analyst desk. On the basketball court, you, that's turnovers. That's missing assignments, missing rebounds. Same thing. Like I know, this is our, what, 82nd game this year? You're starting to feel a little bit? That's how those guys feel. I didn't know the midpoint was the 82nd game, but anyway, injuries start to take a toll. No, but we've done 87 second two games. Doesn't mean yeah, the team. We've done a lot we of games in our, in our, our role here in the right. I we two me. games a night. Remember? Right on the set. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was saying the injuries they start to take a toll. Not just the big ones, the little ones. The type of injuries I hate are the freak injuries. One time, Ernie, I was walking with my shoes off, stubbed my that's, toe. That's called barefoot. That's a freak injury. Stubbed my toe. I was out for six weeks. So you got to get rest, eat well. Well, if you kick ice a brick wall, that's not a and man up. Yeah. yeah. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. And do we have a present for you today? I'm Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony and Doris Burke reporting from the sidelines. This game is part of the travel schedule for New Orleans. They put together game after game, winning five games in a row. Fantastic stretch. And I think for New Orleans, what a start to the season it's been for them. I mean, it has taken them no time to find that rhythm. It is for New Orleans. A chance at a two-for-one if they want it. If I'm them, I try it. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless? It's a foul there. That's I mean, me. I don't know where his That's head is, but it's not in the game. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Too completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. So the Pelican five right now. We've got Tyreek Evans, and it's Quinn in at the four spot. Knight into the lane, and he uses both hands to jam it in. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. Pelican shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That one misses. They've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass today. Yeah, and it's already got them a plus-five margin in the rebound column. The Suns making a change here. Rand's checked in. Twenty-four seconds left to play in the first. Inside, Robinson misses. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the first. A shot, and Free gets it to go on the assist by Knight. Nine seconds left to play in the first quarter, and the foul called on Free. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And so we... Yes, guys. I'm Sports post game show.
Kevin much appreciated and he led the way tonight with a double double and was a major reason why they won tonight his effort and it and folks that'll wrap it up for tonight we hope you enjoyed the game Jordan Court. On my way to getting the Jordan Court. On my way to getting the Jordan Court. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spike Lee? Aw, oh, you fucking douchebag. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Merry Christmas, everybody, and a very special holiday wish from all of us here at 2K Sports. Merry Ernie, Christmas. Yeah, Ernie Johnson and Shaq and, and Kenny. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, it's a... Shaq a Claus. What a festive, festive day it is. We'll watch the Phoenix Suns in this one as they go up against the Nuggets in Denver. Denver comes into this one after the win against Oklahoma City. A terrific underdog win in that last game. They're feeling good, looking to keep it up tonight. From all of us here at 2K, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Your no mother's a hoe. rather be on this day than here with you guys. Uh, I got oh, a couple come on. Other places, but this is not bad. Hello. Oh, got, got, got a couple other places, got a couple other guys. Got a couple other people. Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. Joined in the booth with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. This is Good Kevin way to start it out. The fouls. And just a single game to the way from Phoenix here. For the Substitutions. And an intentional foul right there. I'm really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, nigga, who asked you why I'm fouling? Yeah, no one asked you. No excuse for that kind of foul. Nigga. That might be an Here, you want to talk shit about fouling? Give me the ball, give me the ball. And even then, it's, a, it's uh, not a good play. Money for you, yeah. Yeah. fucking douche. Freak. He's in at center. Anderson is out there with Brandon Knight. Oh, no. Bad time to slip up there, Kevin. It was a good time. Home. Motherfucker. And, and taking a technical there is the last thing Ooh. you want to do. The I took a technical foul too. Fuck you, coach. Coach is a fucking bum. Which is a decent rate. Those Give me a tactical foul. Fucking bum. Good about their free throw shooting take that, season. you fucking bum. And an intentional there we go. Right the Nuggets have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. The first free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. <laughs> oh, nice. first quarter well, that's over. So far. Doom, 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 doom. Up by one. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start. Can't wait to get this Jordan court so I don't have to play career no more. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Ready to get rolling once again here for our Christmas Day matchup. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what do you think so far? It's all about their defense. They have just done a terrific job of negating the timing and spacing. No, no, run opponent. backwards. Every go foul his ass. There we go. Let's go to our sideline reporter. solid backup. You hate to see a player for us. Better have my Jordan court within the next hour. Be better if I don't. Michael Jordan be a punk. <laughs> Your Nuggets and as we begin the second half, first half. So it's the Nuggets winning this one. Eat. 
Fuck you, the nuggets. Eat these nuts, bitch. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by Shaq, and he really stepped it up and played very big tonight. A huge... And that will do it for our special Christmas Day broadcast. Spike Lee better show his face straight up. Spice, Spike Lee might get a kick in the dick. Kick in the dick. Spike Lee, where are you? Oh, you're a fucking asshole. That's what you were. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. The action tonight will be happening out in Phoenix, where the Suns will be going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking at the Thunder, with a record of 3-7 and seven over their last 10 games, they have been struggling. Wins hard to come by. We'll see if they can grab one tonight. And so for Kevin Durant, uh, so many years in Oklahoma City, and I mean, this has been uh, his franchise uh, since he's come into the league uh, in Seattle and OKC. Free agency at the end of the season. Uh, Shaq, if you're in his shoes, what sort of things are you considering right now? Well, he's the biggest player to hit unrestricted free agency since LeBron's decision. So, uh... It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some mid-season NBA action. Along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Looking for a different outcome this time around, the Oklahoma City Thunder took the loss in their last matchup in this season. Oklahoma City trailing, and he commits the intentional foul. You're yeah, not sure what that was. <coughs> about a brain cramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. So for Oklahoma City right now, they've got Dion Waiters. Grant is out there with Ennis Cantor. Then it's Sheldon Mack, and it's Long in at the two-guard spot. They get a hand on it, and we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And, and trailing here in the early going, two many ball, careless ball, fouls, ball. and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Yeah, not only the trips to the line, are son, but the foul trouble also. You've got to play defense with your feet. The fuck out of here. Fouls. Out of bounds, Phoenix bullshit. Nope. It's all Luke bullshit. Where that pass was going, that is a brutal turnover. No. <laughs> Got it off in time, but it's no good. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. Suns lead by two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter. Comes from me, man. Eight years old. Year by year improvements until he became the best player in the league and won an MVP. Now. The challenge, Greg, is to get back to that level after the injuries. Obviously, I think we all feel it is possible for him. And the first half comes to a conclusion. In a Start of the third quarter. So it's the Suns winning easily here. Some 